this is Srinivas and uh, in today's presentation I would like to explain you one important problem based on the random variable and uh, we will see how the probability density function of sum of two random variables will be evaluated. Right? So far in previous presentations we have seen the brief information about the random variable and what are the types of random variables and we have seen the distribution function means probability distribution function and also called as cumulative distribution function and we have seen its property also and likewise probability density function also we have seen and its property also we have seen right so we have little bit information discussed in our previous presentations based on that information we will see one important model or question in today's presentation thereby we can able to see how the density function of the given random variable will be evaluated let us see the problem with solution right now let us see this particular problem which is a very very important model it is given that if x and y are two independent random variables those are normalized random variables and those are defined as z is equal to x plus y then find f z of z what is f z of z probability density function of the random variable z right so given that x and y x and y are two independent random variables they are normalized random variables both are independent right that is the very important condition to remember normalized independent random variable and these two random variables are defined in such a way that z is equal to x plus y means that what actually in this problem two random variables we are adding two random variables and we are defining with some another new variable as z in this case z is also a random variable because x and y are two random variables the sum of these two also a random variable for this new random variable z you are asking to find out f of z small f of z what is small f of z probability density function of z right clear so here if you recall in our our previous presentations for random variable x we know that it has its own pdf that is small x of x and similarly y is also has its own density function small f of suffix capital y of y okay so these two random variables x and y are has their own pdfs so f of x of x is the pdf of x f of y of y is the pdf of y now what will be the density function of z so the pdf of z is f of z how this can be find out how this can be evaluated it is very simple very important point to note down that in this case so the f of z is nothing but the convolution of f of x with f of y it is the convolution multiplication of or the product of the density functions of x the random variable x and then y that's it that's it because you have the pdf of x as well as you know the pdf of y so f of x f of y are the pdfs of x and y random variables then if you take the convolution of these two that is nothing but your f of z that's it okay so now how this can be evaluated how this can be evaluated let us see so here i am defining that i am defining that so the random variable right so the random variable x and y i am calling as the random variable x and y i am calling as normalized what is this normalized what is the normalized so remember that any random variable either x or y if it is said to be a normalized random variable or gaussian random variable remember the normalized can also be called as gaussian 
it is a gaussian random variable remember that normal random variable are also called as gaussian random variable okay any random variable x or y or whatever it is if it is said to be a normalized random variable then their pdf nothing but the small f of x of x must be in this fashion what is this fashion you know it is 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square into e power minus half of x minus mu by sigma whole square where x is where x is minus infinity is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to plus infinity that is the limit for x this is the fashion of for any given random variable x okay for any random variable x if its pdf should have this formation this form of in this form then that random variable is called as a normalized okay random variable so this is called as its density function okay similarly f of y you can write the same expression for y also then simply you can write y in place of x that is f of y of small y is equal to it is 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square into it is e power minus half in place of x you write just y small y minus mu by sigma whole square you write and where minus infinity is less than or equal to small y is less than plus infinity that is it. These are the pdf forms this we should remember we must remember these two because it is a very very important model question right. So, this is the form of pdf actually for normalized random variable right okay. So, as we have considered x as well as the random variable y that is why so two random variables we have considered or it is given in the problem. So, correspondingly for x we have written here the its corresponding pdf similarly for random variable y this is the pdf. Now, this is the basic definition of the density functions. Now, for normalized there is one important condition that is you must substitute what is mu here it is called as mean mu, mu is nothing but mean and what is your sigma here sigma is there sigma is called as standard deviation simply you can write SD or standard deviation standard deviation. So, for normalized random variable the mean mu value must be 0 and the standard deviation value becomes 1. Therefore, in these two expression you can call either by equation 1 or otherwise if you need you can call this as equation number 2 no wrong in that nothing wrong ok. Therefore, now as we are calling these two random variables as a normalized random variable. So, in this definitions I mean in these expressions 1 and 2 you substitute mu value is 0 sigma value is 1 wherever sigma is there put 1 there and wherever mu is there simply you substitute 0 then obviously these two expressions will be converted as like this that is because uh, carefully listen you will understand this very easily a very simple question actually. Now, so now f of x will be given as f of x is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi after substituting sigma value is 1 1 by root 2 pi e power minus half x square or simply x square by 2 you can write when after substituting mu value is 0 and sigma value is 1 then your f of x will becomes like this and similarly your f of y also becomes you know 1 by square root of 2 pi into e power minus you can write y square by 2 or half whatever fashion no problem x square by 2 here y square by 2 here like that. So, now these are the two pdf of x and y means the random variable x as well as this is the pdf of normalized random variable y. Now, now the question is what is f of z? What is f of z? Now, f of z is nothing but convolution of f of x convolution of f of x with f of y that is it that is it. This is the very important definition to remember actually ok. So, 
you know f of x, you know f of y. This f of x is nothing but this only and this f of y is nothing but this only. Now, in place of these two, this product is called as convolution. This is this particular star indicates the convolution. If you substitute these two here, then if you finish that calculation, then you will get f of z value. So, for this, what is the convolution? What is the convolution? So, according to the convolution, so now we are, uh, we, we are going to find out the d density function of z, right? So, let us, let us see that how this convolution uh, formula further evaluated. So, so what we are writing? It is f of z of small z is equal to actually fx of x convolution with f y of y, clear? So, this can furtherly explained as, let us see, this can be written as like this also. This is integral over minus infinity to plus infinite, okay. Here, because we are defined the random variables as z is equal to x plus y, is it not? This is a given relation. So, these are the random variables. Correspondingly, in terms of their possible outcome values, so means that for z, the random variable z, the possible outcome value is z. Similarly, that is z equal to. Similarly, for x, the possible outcome value is small x. Similarly, for y, the possible outcome value is small y. Means that small z is equal to small x plus y. Therefore, now, now, if you expand this integral, this convolution in this fashion, so here, if x, I can write like that only, f of x, in small x, in small x, okay, you can put this, this small x can be taken from this relation, x is equal to, what is the relation? z is equal to x plus y, from this x equal to what? z minus y, you write z minus y here, right? And your f of y will be the same, into dy, with respect to dy means that what this integral you are taking with respect to dy means that obviously these values nothing but belongs to y only means y is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity f x of z minus y f of y dy that is what one definition of your f of z of z right so this is one definition or otherwise equivalently you can take the same for x also means with respect to dx then if i write that this expression becomes how this is another expression this is minus integral to plus integral then here so f f x of x is it not we can write f x of x will be the same as f y of y is same here no so in this case your instead of y you will get f x f x of x will be the same whereas f y f y f y here for the small y what you have to substitute you know from this expression z is equal to x plus y from here y is equal to what y is equal to what z minus x is it not so for the small y you can write z minus x so that value you substitute here z minus x into dx therefore as this integral we are considering for dx therefore this value belongs to x x equal to minus infinity plus infinite, clear? So, these are the two formulas for the, I mean, to finding the convolution. That's it. I hope you are getting this. So, therefore, this is the convolution formula. If you expand in terms of the integral, this is the full definition. Therefore, if you consider either this expression or you can consider the second expression, you can use either of this, no problem. You can use this first expression, you can use this expression, you will get the same answer. So, now let us consider the first one, fx of z minus y formula. So, by considering this first formula, I will evaluate the f of z, right? How this can be, you know? How? Very simple, very simple. It is y is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity, is it not? Very simple. So, it is, this is equal to integral over minus infinity to plus infinity y actually the same the same expression I am writing again here. Now, what is f of x? What is our f of x actually? For normalized distribution, we have seen that 
the value of after substituting mu value is 0 and sigma value is 1. After substituting those two values, we got the expression for f of x. Like, like what is that value? That is 1 by root 2 pi into e power minus half x square, no? Minus half x square. x square is nothing but what is your x value? z minus y. This z minus y. Therefore, you will get z minus y whole square because z minus y is nothing but x. Is it not? z minus y is x equal to z minus y. Therefore, z minus y whole square. This is what for? So, this is the value of this one and similarly, your f of y that remains the same, f of y into dy. That is it. That is it. That is it. So, this is now f of z of z is equal to this expression. Now, this can be furtherly simplified as your problem is over almost all. We came to the conclusion. Okay, there are two, three simple steps are there to get the answer. Right. So, if you carefully calculate, evaluate the integration, you will get the answer very easily or very quickly. How? And how this can be calculated, the further step, it is f of z of z is equal to integral over minus infinity to plus infinity. And here, uh, okay, here in place, of, here in, in place of f of y, you can write the corresponding PDF also, the, correspond, the corresponding PDF. What is the corresponding PDF? What is the corresponding PDF? It is 1 by it is 1 by root 2 pi into e power minus y square by 2, no? Yes. That is corresponding. f of y of y is nothing but this is the PDF. Now, now, the next step after this is f of z is equal to f of z. It is minus integral over to minus, minus into plus infinity y is equal to. Now, 1 by root 2 pi multiplied with 1 by root 2 pi. It is simply 1 by 2 pi. You can write outside of the integral as 1 by 2 pi. Clear? And then what will the remaining part? This part is there. Means e power minus half into z minus y whole square. You can expand it actually. a minus b whole square form. That is z square plus y square minus 2 into z y. Clear? And uh, what is the another? It is e power minus y square by 2 into dy. Clear? Is it not? Now, 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 the next step will be like this. This is equal to further. Okay. It is 1 by 2 pi. As it is, you can write like this. And then minus infinity to plus infinity. Here, if you see this, if you expand this further, it, it can be written as like this. Minus z square by 2 into e power minus y square by 2. Just I am expanding this. <coughs> into e power minus of minus plus it is 2 z y by 2 2 2 can get cancelled e power z y you will get here into e power minus y square by 2 clear it is clear therefore now this integral is with respect to dy we are considering means that what so in this exponential you will get y term in this exponential you will get y in this exponential you will, you will have y if you see this particular e power z square by 2, this is something different than to dy. So, z square by 2 is not at all, it is nothing to do with dy. Therefore, you can consider this term as a constant. Therefore, you can, you can put this outside of the integral. That is equal to, means that 1 by 2 pi into, you can bring this outside because it is a constant. Because the z term is there, therefore, z square by 2, you can simply put outside. Now, it is minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, what is there inside of the integral? This part only, these three exponential because we already kept it outside. Now, if you simplify these three, here you see e power y square by 2, e power y square by 2 minus, means that what? e power y square by 2, y square by 2 minus 2y square by 2 into e power z y. Clear? Now, again, this two, this two will be cancelled out means that what you will get minus y square what you will get here minus y square you will get simply it 
it is minus y square clear now now in the next step what i will do is that i will do a small modification so in the next step what uh, what i will do just i can multiply this entire with e power minus z square by 4 into e power plus z square by 4 into dy in the next step everything is same but only thing is i am doing a small <coughs> modification here that is by inserting or by putting e power minus z by square into e power plus z square by 4 because both will be cancelled out actually and the actual part whatever is there it remains the same because by putting these two will not affect the actual result of this expression okay for our convenience for simplifying this further furtherly then we need to do this small modification right now in here what we will do this e power z square by 4 you can take outside now so means that it is 1 by 2 pi into e power minus z square by 2 clear this plus z square by 4 also you can take outside that is e z square by 4 then what will be there in the integral integral over minus plus infinity e power minus y square clear into e power z y clear e power minus z square by 4 is it not z square by 4 into dy now almost all almost all we came to the conclusion i think we are at the edge of the answer now the next step is the next step is you know it is f of z of z is equal to if you carefully observe this particular part this particular you see if you combine e power minus y square plus z y minus z square by 4 shall i write like this and again if you simplify here it is 1 by 2 pi i will write for you nothing no problem it is e power minus z square by 2 into e power z square by 4 if you simplify these two you will you will get minus z square by 4 here clear because z square minus z square by 2 plus z square by 4 if you take the lcms and find out you will get minus z square by 4 e power clear so it is minus infinity plus infinity then this part whatever is there i can write simply it is minus y minus z by 2 whole square can i write like that this total expression instead of this entire thing i will write simply see in simplified form that is exponential power y minus z by 2 whole square means it is a minus b whole square expand this a minus b whole square a square minus plus b square minus 2ab means that if you expand in the same way you will get this answer only therefore this can be written as like this okay now now and finally now finally what i am going to do is that finally i can multiply this entire thing with root pi by root pi i can divide and multiply with root pi this is another modification so what what will happen here now so i can i can take this root pi 2 here means that otherwise you can do so by cancelling this root pi here i can add root pi here means that by cancelling here 1 by 2 root pi i can write here e power minus z square by 4 as it is and this is 1 by root 1 by root pi is there that i can write before the integral means that it is 1 by root pi integral minus infinity plus infinity e power minus of y minus z by 2 whole square into dy clear now now these two you can write within the square root also then if you put these two within the square then it is you can write 4 pi into e power minus z square by 4 and now if you put the bracket in this bracket you can write the entire term again here so what is this actually this is nothing but this is nothing but this is nothing but the normalized density function pdf density function normalized probability density function okay then according to the property of that density function this value becomes one what is that this value becomes one therefore the entire becomes one then what is left 
this part is left therefore therefore what is your f of z what is your f of z now tell me your f of z is equal to f of z is equal to 1 by root 4 pi into a power minus z square by 4 that is your answer that is your answer this is what your answer right so this is the solution of the given problem right i hope you understood this question and uh, with this i will finish today's presentation and will continue in our subsequent presentation have a good day